Hello and welcome to the Eduonics Learning Flux Architecture course. In this course we'll be discussing and using the Facebook Flux Architecture to build applications and user interfaces. And we'll be doing this through slides, examples, and projects. Facebook Flux is an architecture or design pattern that's used to build dynamic JavaScript web applications. Alright, so this course will have five chapters. Each chapter will have four to six sections. And each section will include a video and any documents, work files, and quizzes that belong to that section. So what you should know before taking this course, you should know basic HTML, CSS. Uh, you should know at least, just, uh, at least the fundamentals of JavaScript and basic programming logic. Uh, so things like variables, arrays, if statements, functions, uh, things like that. Now, if, you do, if you've used React before, then you have a, a really big advantage um, because React and Flux go together very well. Um, they both complement each other. They both have a one-way uh, data flow. And um, I would definitely suggest that either before or after this course that you take a look at the Eduonix React course because it really does complement this one. And jQuery, uh, definitely not needed, and um, I usually say jQuery will help in any of these JavaScript frameworks or architectures or design patterns, uh, but we don't use it that much here, but it, it will help if you do know some jQuery. So technology and concepts that will be involved in this course, of course we have the Flux architecture, uh, view rendering, we'll be talking about actions, dispatchers, and stores, which are all part of Flux. Uh, application states and properties. Flux has a one-way data flow as does React. Uh, React and JSX. JSX is the JavaScript um, syntax extension and it, it's pretty much like XML as far as the syntax um, but we can use that instead of JavaScript which makes things a little easier with React. Um, React uses a virtual DOM which can increase performance, uh, components, and reusability. Node.js and Express, um, we'll be taking a look at Node.js. We will be installing it because we'll need NPM. Um, and we're also going to look at Gulp and Browserify. All right, so the chapter's overview, we have getting started. Chapter two is all about React and the fundamentals of React. Uh, chapter 3, we'll look at Flux components, so things like actions, dispatchers, stores, and controller views. Um, chapter 4 will be Flux tools and environments. We'll take a look at Gulp and Browserify uh, and other development environments. And then chapter 5 will be building the BizList application, which will be a directory for businesses. And it'll have uh, create, read, update, and delete functionality. All right, so that is a summary of this course. I really hope you guys enjoy it and learn something from it, and I will see you in the next section.